Hey, what's going on guys? Dia here and welcome back to, I guess, part 3 or the third part of me, um, of my Aussie Comic Con Christmas Edition Trilogy video thing uh, where in this one, I'll just go ahead and take like, around 10 minutes or so just talking about my my final thoughts, my final thoughts on the con and, and also the people there, the guests um, the uh, volunteers and yeah, that's it um, <laughs> so yeah, again, it was really great. Really loved it. Uh, it was really nice. It was really, it was nice. It was relaxed. Uh, it was a bit hot, but then it's summer. It's, you expect it to be hot. Uh, but for the most part, it was it was lovely uh, going there for both days. Um, if I if the the massive board boredom part wasn't there, because <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, I was bored. I, I finished everything. I finished everything that I wanted to do quite quickly and I wasn't really doing much else except for just nothing. <laughs> Not really much. Not really much. Um, but again, shout out to the uh, guys over at Nostalgia. Again, uh, Nostalgia Mystery Box along with Wicked TCG were just having a really, really nice chat. Um, and again, mostly to nostalgia because I kept going back to them because <laughs> I did, again didn't really have much uh, much else uh, there wasn't really much for me to do because I was only there by myself and I quite easily got things done uh, got quickly got things done um, but yes and that's pretty much uh, in regards to the event uh, the guests of course the guests are really really great uh, Ross and Grace really lovely people um, really great interaction with, with both of them very unique kind of weird for me anyways um so they are really really nice so there was that uh just meet them autograph had a bit of a quick chat photograph picked up the photo that's it like there really isn't much else it really isn't much else to say in regards to that um and yeah of course and um, of course to the volunteers yeah i was gonna say staff but same thing volunteers who were there um that i ended up talking to especially the guy over at the uh guests signing areas and the girl who was out front or the girl and like a bunch of other people who was out front at, by the entrance doing the uh, scannings of the QR code and giving out the patents shout out to them for just being really chill and just having a talk helping me to pass the time <laughs> uh, yeah really, really great it was really nice uh, really friendly um, as well so yeah um, now <laughs> Now in regards to I guess the people that I ended up meeting there, uh, there was this family that I um, met at the close to the start when um, it was we were lining up for Ross's uh, autograph signing session. Um, but there was this family that I met uh, who they, they apparently had a YouTube channel and they had, they were um, of course were getting things signed by Ross, and I, I don't remember what's called popping something. I don't remember what the channel is called, but I'll just put it up here. Um, but yeah, that was really great. And what the uh, I guess the father offered me was that how how did I put this was that he offered his services I guess if I want any Funko Pops um, from the US or I guess if they were US exclusive um, Funko Pops. He asked if I if there was any that I see or that I will be coming out. Just give him a message. Um, and he would just sort of try and sort it out with his contact as it is cheaper in the US including shipping apparently because he doesn't and he usually buys it in pretty much bulk and apparently his contact over in the US would tend to obviously buy them and then put them in proper protective boxes or cases I guess and then have it like properly sealed up and everything so it stays nice and sealed nice and compact so it wouldn't really be damaged too much and then get shipped down here uh, so yeah, I will um, definitely go ahead and I guess uh, if I do see any Funko Pops that I would want that are only available in the US, I would definitely uh, yeah I'll definitely go ahead and uh, give them a uh, buzz um, in regards to helping me getting the, that particular Funko Pop. That was that. Uh, there was also two other interactions I want to talk about. First one being again uh, the two girls that I mentioned in the first video. Um, and I'm also going to show what they looked like as well. 
and the first video I believe somewhere in the second half of the video um, and it's it's the uh, Kakigurui girl and the uh, high school something high school detective high school something uh, girl <laughs> uh, but yeah, you you know who you are M and L there you go that, that was the name that I gave to both of you in the video which I will continue using um, but yeah they were really really lovely really really nice really friendly very uh, I guess positive and very what's the opposite of introvert again extrovert extrovert I felt a bit of that as well from them uh, <laughs> yeah really great um, met with them again on Saturday during lunch I had a quick bit of a chat then and then met them again on uh, Sunday and then just hang out with them um, close to the end of Sunday where it was like one two hours left because I was waiting around for um, Grace Van Dyne's photo session and then obviously I had to stick around with them to get a yeah, printed out photos photo of myself and Grace as well so yeah uh, <laughs> that was pretty much it um, yeah it was great meeting them uh, and there was something that I do regret not doing, but I'll go ahead and um, save that for the end of the video. Um, but I want to go ahead and talk about this other interaction that I had uh, with this other person where it happened Saturday at the end of Sunday, pretty much at the end of Saturday where I was walking towards the uh, train station. And again, this was the Comic-Con Christmas edition was happening at the showground. So obviously the uh, timings for the uh, train had to be very specific because it was only pretty much from there to Flinders in the back day. Um, so yeah, it was at the end of Saturday. I was walking through the train station. I uh, there was one of the uh, staff, elderly staff, over there, elderly woman. And I just decided to have a chat with her because the train was like what 10, 15 minutes away. So I figured I may as well just hang with her, just go ahead and talk to her to pass the time. And then yeah, it somehow got to a point where she ended up suggesting to me to go to this class that one of her friends would tend to do, or I guess own, something like that. Um, where it was a, what was it again? A self-confidence class, I believe, or something something along those lines again i don't quite remember <laughs> funnily enough i really don't quite remember what exactly uh, she said but yeah, she suggested i should go to that because a friend does these like self exercises where it would would um help boost your know, my self-confidence people's uh, self-confidence and all that stuff to try and be more positive and so on and so forth um, and it was like what was it another thing that she was saying was that uh her friend would do this I was at six guys and six girls, um, sort of like just private dinner thing where we would just sit on the table, at the table, and just talk away. Um, well, I did find it at the time anyways. I did find it a bit intriguing. I did go ahead and maybe look into it. But nah, I uh, don't plan on doing that anytime soon. <laughs> so I do apologize, but thank you. Thank you for, um, I guess, suggesting that to me. Uh, appreciate it. Now... As she was, uh, as we just continued talking, and of course, because I was still waiting for the train, um, this this other girl, this other girl, young girl, um, I guess about my age, from the looks of it, uh, well, at the time, anyways, <laughs> um, she ended up passing by, and she had Anna, and they're asking, "Hey, uh, is this person bothering you?" And she was asking me that, and I was like, "No, not really. You know, we're just having a talk." And then the elderly woman ended up saying something like, "Oh, you right? Here's a." They lovely lady that you could go ahead and just talk to for the rest of the time. Do you mind looking after this this man right here? I was like, and I, my in my head, I was just thinking, what on earth is happening? What did I get myself into? <laughs> and just and the the, uh, the the girl or the, the I guess woman, uh, the girl woman, well, same thing. I uh, just said, yeah, sure, you know, why, why don't you just we'll, we'll go and we we'll just talk away. I was like, yeah, sure, we're heading in the same direction both getting on the train so I was like sure uh, and then we just talked for the rest of the time uh, I ended up asking why, why, why what she bought there but she didn't really buy anything um, she was she apparently went to the event uh, to the convention to troll people don't really understand it uh, but yeah she ended up going there to troll people 
uh, and then she ended up being saying hi hey, oh she's a uh, an influencer and all that stuff like people will recognize her on the street many people have gone ahead and found her and take a picture with, with her yeah yeah they gather type those whole things and I was like oh okay oh yeah yeah this that yeah yeah so yeah um, so we ended up talking away and then towards when we got to the station Flinders anyway we got to Flinders she ended up like she needed to go to the bathroom I don't know how bad but she needed to go to the bathroom and I was like okay yeah sure I'll go ahead and you know hold your stuff uh, since I, I obviously had to wait for my train because it was a while away I offered to hold her things while she went because why would you bring your stuff into the bathroom like unless you don't really have a choice then yeah <laughs> sure I offered to grab that and then when she came back out I was on my phone when she came back out uh, something 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 then she asked oh, hey do you want my number and I was like sure <laughs> sure because I didn't think uh, it would really cause any harm and also she looked she sounded nice and genuine you could tell I could tell anyways I uh, could be wrong but at the time I could tell and now in my phone that I'm currently using <laughs> to do this is uh yeah it has a number I don't know if it her it's hers but it has a number and I've yet to try and uh, call it <laughs> I've yet to try to call it um, don't know if I ever will probably will at some point just to see if it's her or if it's just some random number um, and then if it's her then yeah that's great um, that means she was honest with that about that at least um, and if it's not then I'll just go ahead and end, end call block and delete <laughs> she's pretty much getting rid of it so yeah all in all again all in all it was really nice really chill event and I enjoyed it I enjoyed it uh, for, for the most part <laughs> I enjoyed it for the most part now um, I guess to end it off I guess there's just pretty much two things to say um, first one is actually in regards to the conventions uh, next year obviously starting with supernova and then ending that's um, i believe at the end of april and then uh, finishing off with pax which is mid uh, sometime in october um around between around the first two weeks of october sometime then um i will be going to all of them <laughs> but i will only go to I will go to them only on one day each um, Supernova will be one day Aussie Comic Con will be one day well pretty much yeah all one day each except for what was it Crunchyroll and PAX as I believe you do get paid um, working day um, as a staff so I will be going ahead and do that for the rest of the other days I won't be going there as a uh, as an attendee and um, yeah so yeah that, that, that actually I expected that to be a lot longer I had so much more to say in regards to that but for some reason I don't know <laughs> and um yeah so the other thing is I guess that I want to go ahead and say is oh actually before I go ahead and say that uh, the other thing um the uh, Kakiguri girl I know we had a bit of a talk in regards to oh maybe I should, I should go ahead and cosplay something really simple um and I told you that oh maybe next year and I would go ahead and dress up as a cosplay sorry cosplay as a character from Death Note which is I guess Light Light Yagami from Death Note because uh, I pretty much already have like everything uh, for one of his outfits that he wears anyways I pretty much have everything except for obviously the accessory the Death Note and yeah so I was telling her or oh, maybe next year if I feel like it I'll go ahead and do it if not um, then yeah if not then I will <laughs> uh, but um, yeah in regards to the last thing though last thing that I want to go ahead and say is that for the again this is uh, mostly directed to the uh, two guys if you guys if you two are watching this M&L and that is um, what I uh, should have done uh, at the end of Sunday at least is to I guess get some contact information I'm not entirely sure I'll have to phrase it <laughs> but I'd actually grab the, you guys um, or use uh, contact info because I did find it did uh, enjoy uh, your company and I wouldn't uh, mind uh, hanging out with you guys again um, 
and yeah that's something that i guess i regretted uh, not doing because knowing me off i guess from me knowing me i don't normally uh do that i, I don't normally ask <laughs> um i'm more of a person who would just who is fine with not asking or getting that contact information and whatnot. it feels for me it feels awkward it feels very awkward uh, to do it um and this is like a, some specific reason but at the time again at the time i didn't really thought it was right to do it because we've only we've been, well one you you guys are practically strangers we're practically strangers to each other and two i'm a guy you're a girl i feel like if in my head it didn't feel right so and also it was like a, a convention so that that just gave me more reason to for it to not be any weird <laughs> i don't know this it's, it's probably just me overthinking it um but yeah that's that's pretty much one thing that i uh, regretted doing and in case you're watching it again in case you're watching it watching this video i should say pardon me and in case you're watching this video um guess the 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 only one thing i would like to ask is that would you uh do you, do you guys do you two want to go ahead and hang out sometime because i i because i i wouldn't mind <laughs> i wouldn't mind um at all and that would be great uh, if we go ahead and do that mm -hmm. but the i guess the only downside the only problem with they would be is how <laughs> how because i have discord i have tiktok i have twitter and obviously you got like the messenger facebook messenger and i guess whatsapp i use as well if not normal messaging um and yeah i don't know how exactly we're gonna get, get in contact that's the only funny thing about it um but yeah you let me know either in the comments or just send me like a d a uh, just send a comment either they can for you too because i will be I'll, I'll i post this i'll be posting this on youtube um if not just um comment in one of the tiktok videos say that oh it's me kakiguli girl uh yeah so and then we can probably go for there but again i'll leave it to uh, both of you to decide um because like i, I i'm too uh, nervous and awkward to us and i guess shy mm. So yeah, uh, yeah. Um, I guess uh, that's pretty much sums up, sums it all up, sums it all up. Um, with, I guess everything. <laughs> uh, Show out the videos, my time day. Show out all the products and uh, the final i guess video um to end it off as a summary and um yeah so i guess all that's left to say is thank you all for watching and i will see you all next time this is diamond signing out